right. Now I am. All right. All right, I'm David Shea. I'm here with Ryan Larson and Joshua Larson, and we're presenting our capstone project for Border States Electric. So the agenda for today, we're gonna to go over the company and project overview, the project plan, the facilities that we visited, the routing software, the questionnaire, the contacts in the company, our comparisons of the routing softwares, and a conclusion. So the company overview. Border States Electric was founded in 1952. They are employee owned and customer based. They provide electrical and utility equipment throughout the United States. And they're focusing on a supply, a supply chain, increasing efficiency and reducing expenses. So for the project overview, we started off by interviewing employees to identify the needs and what they wanted for a routing software. We then developed a questionnaire using the company's needs. We then generated a list of viable companies. From that, we interviewed different companies using the questionnaire to see that the companies would best fit for Border States Electric. We then recommended best fitting softwares. So here's a description of our project plan. We start, started off with the project definition, the initial project meetings, the project plan and statement of work, our data collection, our software selection, and now we're finalizing the deliverables. I'll pass it on to Ryan to talk to, or to Josh to talk about the Border States Electric facility. Thanks, Dave. To give you a better understanding of the size of Border States, I'm going to run through the facilities of BSE. The overall company has about 2,600 employees in 22 states, with about 429 vehicles doing business with about and with thousands of customers. The Fargo facility individually has 30 workers on any given shift, not including the CSR's customer service reps, with 11 trucks delivering to 1,100 customers monthly. The Fargo warehouse delivers to uh, the local FM area using three main trucks, each with their own individual uh, sections of the town to deliver to. With smaller short-time orders, the warehouse will use sprinter vans to make sure they can deliver as soon as possible. For the rural routes, they run the same route each day, either forwards or in reverse, whichever the driver thinks is best for that day. Orders at the end of the day, for as soon as possible, will write an order and then we'll be on the route the next day. So why are we looking at a routing software? The current softwares are, and the current routes are drawn by hand, which makes them inefficient when major roads are out of commission or even slightly more optimal routes exist. The routes can be hard to read at times and have small errors within them, and one of the major issues is that customers don't know where their uh, drivers are. And it can be really tough to relay a location to them when the route is drawn by hand. When identifying a software, we looked at the services they provide, including routing and mapping. We also looked at the quality of the devices used for the software. Are we able to use our own devices? Do they provide devices? What operating systems do they work with? What are the costs and how durable are they? In the safety aspect, is the ELD system implemented? Do we have to use our own device for the ELD system? Can inspections be done with the software and logged easily? And finally, the most important, what is the cost? Money is what drives the world and value added to the software needs to outweigh the cost for all companies. Now, Ryan is going to go into more detail on our data collection process. Thank you, Josh. Uh, for our data collection sources, we had four main ones that we talked to. The first one being Mark Lester, our project sponsor. Uh, we basically helped him, he, or he talked to us and helped us narrow our scope down to actually just kind of create a list of questions that would be able to help him and his team to decide on the company. Uh, through him, we were able to get in contact with Trevor Peterson and Sarah Hargrave, who were both uh, warehouse managers, and they were able to give us a quick little tour of the warehouse, kind of show us 
the whole process of going from picking your items to getting them into the wait list to actually getting loaded on the trucks and being sent onto the delivery routes. And also our last uh, contact we had was a connection we got from Trever, who was Grant Melquist, who was a CSR who kind of gave us some insight on how the actual customer service works too. So needs of the software, we obviously wanted to have some uh, standard routing capabilities and routing optimization, along with the tracking and user customer assistance. And this is our summarized list of the questions that we were actually sending out to the companies. We initially had around 110 questions, but we just figured that was a lot to be sending out right away. So we simplified it down to about 25 questions that kind of focused on the key questions that we really needed answered for this kind of presentation. So we kept the same criteria and that's kind of how we based our questions off of. So after the data collection, we decided on three main routes, Optimo, or three main softwares, Optimo Route, Trimble, and Omnitrax. And David will talk to you about Optimo Route. Thanks, Ryan. So I really looked, liked Optimo Route. It had a really user-friendly design and you're able to download an app into an iOS or Google device. There are over 50 features throughout Optimal Route from automatic planning, live tracking, and analytics. So here, this picture, you can see that you can import orders from CSV or Excel. You're able to assign a driver, an address, a location name, a time for delivery, and a time for arrival. You can also add notes for the driver. Here you can plan routes. And from planning routes, it's one of the basic needs that Border States Electric had. And our planning routes really helps because you're able to improve your efficiency and optimize all your deliveries. The software will be able to help because you are able to control, view, and change routes throughout three different user modes. The user modes are user, read only, and administration. User would be your driver, while read only would typically be a manager so they can read and look at the reports and then administration, administration would be your dispatcher and they would be making changes to the routes. So here are two pictures of what the drivers and the customers would see. And on the left, you have what drivers would see. They would see a time of arrival. They would see their next delivery and they would also see the completed deliveries. The drivers are also able to see um, directions and any problems that the routes may have, whether it's a construction zone or a delay or uh, traffic. So on the right side here, here's some real-time tra tracking for our customers. And they're able to see how long it's going to take for their delivery to be there the address, any specific notes that the driver, that they may have given the driver. Um, it will also give certain details about the driver, such as the plate number and the driver's name. So here is the live tracking. It was another big feature that Border States Electric wanted. And it's able to track the certain times that the delivery should um, be scheduled. And here are on the bottom, you can see some, some times from when the del delivery should be there. And if there was any delays, here are some analytics. And this was really cool to me because you're able to look at a different time range. Um, from maybe like a day or a certain week, month, year. You're also able to look at specific drivers for the entire fleet at one time. You can look at completed routes, complete uh, failed deliveries, failed 
or failed deliveries or rejected deliveries. Failed deliveries would be if they were not able to complete the delivery, if um, the customer was not there or um, something came up, let's say the truck broke down and it would not, it, you'd not be able to get the delivery there on time. You are also able to uh, insert a cost benefit analysis. I thought this would be really helpful and all you have to do to do that is just insert um, the cost amount for each uh, delivery into Excel, and then it will be able to track the cost of the entire um, delivery. So here are the three different options for cost. And talking to Optima Route, they definitely recommended that we use the enterpri enterprise level, which is $35.10 per driver. And with this, you are able to get the basic features of the starter pack, but you're also able to do live tracking, web service, API, analytics, live ETA, breadcrumb trails, weekly planning, and real-time order tracking. There's also another cost, which is $30 for 300 text messages. And you can do this so your customer will be able to um, receive a text when your order is arriving or if it's 20 miles out, you can set um, text messages to um, certain variables such as that. So why Optima Route? It's a pretty user-friendly routing software. The customer service was great. It is very accurate because it uses a third-party navigation system such as Google Maps or Waze. And comparing to most other routing softwares, it had a pretty fair, cheap price. I'll pass it off to Josh to talk about Trimble Maps. Trimble Maps, the composition of a variety of different mapping softwares to help optimize data. The main focus of Trimble Maps is the customization and variety it provides. By having a selection of different softwares, the customer is able to select one that fits their needs the best. Once a primary software is chosen though, the developmental tools that they provide can also improve on many of the aspects. The developmental tools are all coded using jQuery and JavaScript, making it for it to be easy to use and supported coding. Here's an image of the route planning software and the analytics of the software. Uh, this specific image is a PC miler and focuses on the maximizing revenue and minimizing the cost in a safe routing setup. You also have the ability to manually edit your routes as you go throughout, as you can see at the top of the screen. Another big focus of Trimble is on their support. Each map service provides its own dedicated support. To go along with that, jQuery and JavaScript both have a common forums called Stack Overflow that is widely used and supported by the community. Finally, the website themselves feature training resources such as slides ready for use on most of the different software pages. This is an idea of what an in-truck display would look like on any phone. Um, this is tracking by Copilot Truck, another software provided by Trimble. One thing that Trimble does that most softwares don't is that they also have the ability to use an SAP push throughout the route, and that was something that border states really wanted if it was available because they wanted to adjust routes on the fly if something was added in the middle of a route. When it comes to analytics, Trimble has the standard resource utilization and route profitability statistics, along with the ability to run what-if scenarios. When there's issues on Highway 70, like um, Highway 70 being closed right in front of the Denver branch, which currently is happening, the ability to see the future changes and the future plans of construction allows them to plan for the future and that is vital. Finally, comparing routes to plan time versus actual time allows us to see where the routes are falling behind and where they are ahead, helping maximize the breaks and stops for each route along the plan. The cost for the Trimble Maps plan is $53.50 per vehicle for the base package, but the $7.20 per vehicle extra for real-time tracking is, inval uh, is invaluable to all parts of border states and is therefore highly recommended by us. To recap, 
Triple Maps is a highly customizable cut composition of map softwares that allows for SAP push to their routes, has the ability to run what-if scenarios, and provides real-time tracking to both the company and the customers with separate, separate dedicated support teams if anything goes wrong. To go over on the tracks, I'm gonna pass it back on to Ryan. Thank you, and this will be our third and final software that we've decided to look into. So some of the uh, nice benefits that come with this package is that it's able to keep up with a lot of the compliances and codes. So it'll help minimize any kind of fines that could be coming later down the road if like any kind of new ones come up. It also comes with diagnostic and asset monitoring for productivity. It has a very user-friendly design with customizable interface, which is a big uh, positive for the actual drivers using it. And it can support, and because it's such so easy to actually um, apply into vehicles, you pretty much just have to plug it into your truck. It can support all commercial vehicles. And it also has an option for a phone slash tablet compatibility if needed. Some of the main features that come with it is that, is that it has uh, maintenance, fuel, and driver management. It's capable of tracking hours of service, which is a big plus, just to make sure that none of your drivers go over their limits. It has smart data collection to eliminate any paperwork, which is an example of that could be to the right where there's a possible incident, so it does not have to be written out. And also it uh, does a really good job of receiving and sending out messages for the drivers, the customers, or other employees. And also has a friendly and a smart voice interface for the driver to use while on routes. Uh, one of the big things that this package helps with is efficient routing. It has auto updating routes. So that, with that being used, it can help to reduce fuel usage, operational costs, and vehicle wear over time because it's going to be less miles on the road potentially. It has increased delivery safety due to that auto updating as well. You won't, won't have to be driving through any kind of construction or maybe uh, different routes or less optimal routes. And also it has uh, improved communication for your drivers as well. For vehicle tracking, it has real-time location information, which is a big positive for the uh, employees as well as for the customers that are waiting for the packages so that they can know actually like when they're gonna be there, like how close they are, or, you know, have some kind of plan for that. It also is able to monitor your driving habits and check for idling, excess fuel usage and speeding, just to kind of make sure that the driver is, you know, following his routes correctly, he's being as efficient as possible and thus saving the company money. It is also able to collect need specific data, which can be customizable by the user's preferences. And it also has vehicle performance monitoring, just to kind of make sure that the, like whatever truck you're using is fully operational before the shift so that it doesn't end up going down during the shift. So for the overall cost of Omnitrax, it's a $7.99 upfront cost per device. And it's also $30 per vehicle per month to use the uh, package. And XRS is the version that we chose. And with that package, it comes with uh, fleet management, uh, increased compliance without the increased overhead. It has an automatic diagnostic positioning and log data, and also has hands-free and text to speech, which was a big positive. So for the summary of the options, we decided to kind of highlight the main focus for each package. And for Optimo Route, it was that it had very user, it was very user friendly and had really good customer service compared to the other two. Uh, Trimble was, has a high customization, which I mean can be really positive just to actually make it however you need it to work for you. And then Omnitrax had a really big focus on the safety of the driver and the truck. So for the next steps of BSC, we're gonna plan on kind of submitting this presentation to Mark and hopefully they'll be able to get in contact with each of the companies that's interested, talk to them, get any questions answered that they have. And then hopefully from there, they'll be able to try out the softwares that they want to, they're interested in, finalize package that they wanna uh, move forward with, and then finally have the software installed. Any questions or comments? So question for all. How how standardized are the local deliveries and routes? Are they, are they the same every day? Are they the same every Tuesday? Or how do they, are they, they vary quite a bit? The local routes vary quite a bit. Um, they can, it's really, they really said it's whoever actually needs something and they'll completely make a new route every day. For the more rural routes, they're more standardized and they are more set up for if somebody doesn't need something that day, they'll just skip over that part of the route and they'll adjust the route based on. Okay, he's still there? Okay. Um, one thing that I'd like to see that I didn't see was, um, you know, a list, you know, you've seen the, you've seen the back of some of the flyers and they say they compare one, 
one um, attribute, one place to another, or one software to another, where you list down the, the 15 or 20 main um, objectives or main um, things that the company likes to see. And then you list the three different solutions across and you check mark if they meet them or not and do a quick little analysis. I guess what I would call it is it's kind of a meet, not meet criteria um, needs analysis. Um, I think you've probably seen those in the back of some of the brochures, even if you take a look at any software out there, meets and does not meet. But it would have been nice to see something like that in the chart style so you can easily take a look at it and say, okay, of the top 20 items that we're looking for of these three solutions, here's how much of those, those 20 things they meet or what percentage of the requirement those softwares meet. Something that would have been nice to see on this one, guys. Yeah. And you put, you probably had the data to put that together um, pretty simply. So have you guys presented this out to BSC yet? Yep, yep. we did that yesterday. We presented in front of Mark and uh, Trevor. Okay, but yeah, just keep that in mind in the future. It's kind of a nice little graphic that you can say, here's my 20 needs here's my three solutions and here's each of those solutions. Uh, check mark if it meets it fully, uh, half a check mark if it only meets it halfway and, and a big X if it doesn't meet that, that um, critical need at all. Okay, yeah, and we can definitely do that and just throw it into the report when we have that finished. Yeah. Yep, I think you should do that. It would be a nice graphic for them to take a look at. Yeah, okay. So, uh, let's see what else did I have. That's, that's about all I had guys. Now, you make sure you you had this recorded. So make sure you get the recording to me and then the PowerPoint presentation and then the final report is due end of day next Friday. Mm -hmm. And just like I said, add that meets does not meet criteria table to the report and look good in the brief. That look good in the report. You want to throw it into the presentation as well though, or just the report? Just the report's fine, guys. Okay. All right. That's all I, that's all that's all I got. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. More.